Hey everyone, Chuck from Chuck Wagon MTG here. Thanks for joining us for another video today. We've got some Ixalan booster packs here. Um, these are my spoils from the pre-release weekend. Um, my local gaming store, they do the uh, two packs that you automatically get, which come to find out, any pre-release you go to here in the U.S., I'm not sure about other countries, but any pre-release in the U.S., any sanctioned store, you get two packs just for playing and that's like according to Wizards of the Coast so if you're going to a pre-release and they're not giving you an additional two packs just for playing then they're not doing something right uh, but anyways um, if you win prizes you get uh, two packs just for playing and then you get a voucher for whatever's left over um, so essentially what I did I only had one event that I actually did good in uh, so I took the store credit but here are the actual packs from the course of the weekend um, so, yeah, we've got 11 packs here. Let's bust into these bad boys and see what we can open up. Um, yeah. Get this going with the first one. I'm excited for this set. I mean, we got merfolks, we got pirates, we got just all sorts of good stuff. Uh, per usual, we'll go ahead and skip past the commons and get straight to the good stuff. Y'all want to see the uncommons and the rares and hopefully some mythics. We have Sheltering Light, Favorable Winds, Marauding Looter, and our rare is going to be uh, Maverin Fiend Dusk Apostle. I haven't uh, run into him yet, but uh, yeah, not bad. And then we got our treasure token. Hey, these things look beautiful. They really do. But, so uh, why don't you guys tell me in the comments below how your pre-release weekend went. Uh, I would love to hear about some of the crazy stuff you pulled, some of the decks you got to play. Um... Because I know, essentially, it usually goes either you pull insane money cards or you uh, get just a good deck with good synergy that plays well. It's very seldom that both of those happen. So, anyways, we have Belligerent Brontodon. Dinosaur Stampede, love some dinos. Charging Monstrosaur. Monstrosaur, that's just a beautiful name for a dinosaur. And then for a rare, we have Vance's Blasting Cannons. That legendary enchantment uh, that lets you cast stuff from the top, and then it flips over into a Painland Lightning Bolt. Expensive Lightning Bolt, but Lightning Bolt on a stick. Uh, that's fun on a bun right there. That's good stuff. And we got ourselves a Dinosaur Token. I myself got, I lucked out. Saturday morning, I actually got to live the dream, and I got to play... Uh, tribal merfolk. Uh, I just drew in my sealed pool. There's just a ridiculous amount of merfolks. In fact, I think thirteen or fourteen of my creatures, something like that, were merfolk. It was just, it was so good, so good. Uh, that morning went rather well for me. All right, we have Kamena's Speaker, Navigator's Ruin, a Tepic Huntmaster. I haven't really seen that one yet. And then our rare is Dreamcaller Siren. All right. And another cool looking treasure token. So, yeah, aside from that, uh, Sunday's event didn't exactly go as planned. Uh, Saturday evening definitely didn't go as planned. Um, I don't know what happened there. That was just all sorts of bad. All right, we have Rallying Roar, Storm Fleet Aerialist. Snapping Sailback, that guy was pretty good. And our rare is Burning Sun's Avatar. I got him as, uh, I think, Saturday evening. He was my promo, and then I actually pulled two of him. Um, and then no other really good red dinosaurs. Um, it was kind of brutal. Kind of brutal. All right. We have Inspiring Cleric, Lurking Chupacabra. I love that they kind of brought this in here. Chupacabra, so fun. Bright Repraisal, and our rare is Rootbound Craig. I will say I, I'm not liking the art on these as much as the old ones, but I like the fact there's dinosaurs in it. So, And we've got that going for us. But Yeah, lots of good stuff. I know I had fun. I always have fun during pre-release. It's just a good time. All right. We have Elaborate Fire Cannon. Rigging Runner. That guy can be pretty good. Stormfleet Spy. And our rare is Captain Larry Storm. 
That's fun. Alright. Getting about halfway through. I think we got five packs left, including this one in my hand. We have Grim Captain's Call. Elaborate Fire Cannon. Snapping Sailback. And our rare is River's Rebuke. Uh, I actually got one of these with that Merfolk deck I was playing on Saturday morning, and it was just... <laughs> that was so good. Oh, man. Uh, actually, I wound up getting uh, two of the Merfolk that... Uh, they come in as two threes, and they tap down the entire opponent's board. Uh, and I got four of the ones that tap down individual creatures. Uh, I got the enchantment that uh, makes 1-1 one, one hexproofs. I just, I got them all. It was beautiful. All right, we have a Slice in Twain. Duskborn Sky Marcher. River Sneak. And our rare is Dreamcaller Siren. Another one of those guys. All right, we got three packs to turn this around. So far, nothing really, uh, you know, extraordinary. But we got lots of product to be opening up here soon, so there's going to be plenty of time to be pulling good stuff. All right, we have Belligerent Brontodon again, Dinosaur Stampede, uh, Adanto Vanguard, and our rare is Spell Swindle. Uh, this card, I don't know if you guys have seen this in foil or not, but that makes just an absolutely gorgeous foil. I mean, it is so beautiful. Uh, I will be grabbing plenty of those uh, just for my personal collection, just because I love foils, and that make just such an awesome foil. Alright, two packs left here. We have Field of Ruin, Stormfleet Spy, at Zakan Archer, and our rare is... Well, we got a Paladin of the Bloodstained as a foil, and our rare is the Dowsing Dagger. Alright, last pack here. Let's see if we can do something good. Redeem ourselves in these pack openings. I mean, we don't do it for the money, but it's always nice when you pull something that's uh, got some value that's, you know, kind of sought after. Alright, we have a Vine Shaper Mystic. Steadfast Armasaur. This guy was really good. Unclaimed Territory, and our rare is Shapes... Shaper's Sanctuary. That's that's not too bad. Uh, this this thing's going to go places. All right. Well, that's what we got. Uh, we only got one foil. We got the Paladin. Uh, Shaper's Sanctuary, that's actually not a bad pull. Dowsing Dagger uh, is not bad either. Um, but as for the rest of it, River's Rebuke, that's not a bad one. And uh, Captain Lannery Storm... Um, uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot for it. Um, Rootbound Craig, it's a land, so it's going to be worth a couple bucks just because the lands usually are. Uh, Burning Sun's Avatar, we'll see where that goes. Siren again. Vance's Blasting Cannon, I'm happy about that one. That's going to be fun. Uh, and then this guy... I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Um, if there's going to be a time for a vampire deck, it's probably going to be now, so... All right, well, that's what we got. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Like I said in the comments, don't forget to let us know how you did, what you pulled, all the crazy stuff that you experienced over Peru this weekend. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG.